Well, let me tell you what just happened right now. I was parking right over fucking there, <clears throat> next to that little fucking white scooter right there. This little fucking Israeli cunt bitch of a fucking cock sucking whore. Watch your profanity. Right here in this little fucking Toyota, blue Toyota Rav4. Instead of going into her fucking parking space all the way in, she parked like this, blocking off all the little scooters here. I had to wait here for like about fucking 10 minutes now until she came down to like call the fucking phone number on the side of her Toyota RAV4 which is a good thing that she had a fucking phone number there too because otherwise I would have really been fucking fucked gotten stuck here all fucking day I called her whole fucking call center turns out it's an insurance company huh I wouldn't have guessed it so I called the phone number you know like um, when the little fucking uh, call center uh, representatives answers she tells me no I don't know who the fuck uh, sorry she, she wasn't cursing but she was like no no I don't know who that little who that uh, blue car belongs to uh, just go ahead <clears throat> I'll go ahead and um, ask around all that shit uh, hangs up on me that was uh, about two or three hours earlier then I come back down she still hasn't gone down and uh, fixed the car it was still blocking me off so I was like bitch you know what I went ahead and called up again and this time uh, I guess it was the same one because she started getting all uh, pissed off and stuff and she was like I don't know who that blue car is oh damn it why don't you keep calling here and all that shit i was like bitch you better fucking find out who it is because i'm gonna call the fucking police on a fucking tow truck and by the time you get down here the car is gonna be gone so you better uh do your fucking job and find out who the car belongs to because it's blocking me off and, and i'm stuck for a full fucking hour down here in this bitch she's like oh and then uh, someone uh, comes over to the phone takes up the phone this little fucking old bitch and she was actually the one who's the car owner over here little fucking israeli cunt bitch whore she says all right all right just uh oh you're t you're gonna tell me how to park in my own private parking spot and i'm like no but i am gonna fucking tell you that you're blocking me the fuck off along with two other scooters and you just park like uh, you own the whole fucking building so what the fuck so yeah i'm gonna tell you to come down here move your bitch ass little fucking cager uh cunt of fucking car over here and move it the fuck back <laughs> one meter back it would have been able to already get, uh, just fucking leave this place I mean what the fuck man anyway that's you know stupid little fucking uh, Israelis for you anyway you know that's fucking instances like that where you know the way she picked up the phone and started talking to me you know like seriously you know like just like my uh, vlog yesterday that I put up this is exactly the fucking reason why people hate Israelis so much they're just so fucking always looking for trouble like little fucking barbaric little fucking cunts like this little fucking arse what bitch you're smoking on me Thanks a lot for putting your fucking cigarette next to my helmet, fucking dumb cunt. You no, know, it's just fucking cases like this and instances like this just really get me so frustrated with Israelis in general. It just makes me hate them. Bitch, fuck off. See what the little fucker trying to do right now? Go into my fucking lane, almost ran. Israeli drivers are so fucking dumb. Oh, Israeli fucking cagers, when will you fucking learn? When you kill someone, oh no, no they won't because that's already happened uh, quite a few times by now that they've killed people and still uh, continue to drive and like they do today, still killing people on the roads, freely. Let's go back and try it. Ah, you know, what can I tell you, just fucking Israeli is always looking for trouble constantly. I mean seriously, bitch, you know, like the way she talked to me too, like, oh you're trying to tell, oh you want to tell me how to park my own car in my own private uh, parking lot I'm like no like seriously and you know I was seriously thinking of how to respond to her you know because obviously I could tell she was looking for fucking trouble on the phone so fucking frustrating that I have to constantly be on like fucking alert and fucking aggressive to actually get things done in this stupid fucking country this is so fucking aggravating. See, and when did she, uh, when did she actually uh, start complying? When I uh, threatened to call the police and get a tow truck in so they can, uh, you know, uh, and I told her, hey, you can either come down here and move your fucking car or uh, I'm just gonna call the police on the tow truck and you're gonna come down here when you, you wanna go home and there's not gonna be a car left here. So, you know, it's up to you. And that's when she said she hung up, so I'm coming down, hung up in my face. You know, like, seriously, I mean, if I have to fucking threaten you, like, to get you fucking scared to do shit that you should already be fucking doing, 
and have enough common sense to do. You're obviously a fucking lost cause. I mean, I don't know what else to call you other than that. I mean, at this point, being a stupid cunt doesn't even cut it. That would be a compliment for you. As soon as she comes down, she like gives me the nastiest fucking face too. Like I just woke her from like a fucking uh, mid-afternoon nap or whatever. And I'm just like, is this your car? She's like, yeah. I'm talking to me with uh, extreme general disrespect and disgust. And I'm like, I go, I go to the back of the, um, her private parking and I show her and I tell her and I go like this and I'm like you know with both my hands and I'm like and meet her back and I would have been able to already been home like an hour ago just so you know you fucking got me stuck here for like about an hour now just waiting for somebody to come to come move this your uh, this fucking car of yours she doesn't even respond she's like well gets in her car moves it back because she knows I was right I mean you know the way she parked half in her square and half on the fucking um, lane where cars are supposed to pass and motorcycles and she thinks that's uh, correct parking hmm uh, no you stupid fucking dumb old cunt bitch that's not correct fucking parking just because the fucking that little specific little square of a parking lot is uh, yours <clears throat> does not mean you can park however the fuck you want in it, it means you can park in it responsibly and not take up two fucking lanes or two fucking parking lots. I mean, what the fuck is that shit? Oh man. Yeah, guys, I know it's a rent, but I'm just really fucking pissed off right now. Get the fuck back in. Look. Fucking bitch. Get in your fucking lane. The shoulder is on your fucking lane, bitches. Oh, look, there's another one up ahead. Another one. Man. Look at this one. Back in your fucking lane, motherfucker. Man, literally, like, some days, like today, I feel like I'm literally the fucking shoulder police.